Okay, what are we doing today, bro? Uh, we're prepping this STI for the track this weekend. We're doing a four cylinder cooling mod, a radiator flush, oil, Killer Bee oil pan, stainless steel brake lines, and I think that's all. First plan of attack was to remove the intercooler so I could take off the the pitch stop so that when I lift up the motor it's not a pain in the ass to pull it back into position. And then I'll go to drain the fluids after that. Is it dark? Yeah, just a bit. But it's time for upgrades. Yeah. Stupid bitch. God, And now we're removing the old brake lines. Oh, what, what, what brake lines did you go with? Stop tech. Stop tech. Good ridge okay. on. Good ridge. Because Stop tech doesn't have a specific part number for the 18 plus, while Good ridge does. So. Do you want any of your stock stuff? Throw that shit away. If you just throw it away, throw it away. Changing brake lines is a hard job. Yeah, if you don't have, if you don't know the tricks behind it, then. It is a little bit of a bitch because you can just strip out the, the bolt going into the brake line. Yeah. So from what I found out, they, they're the only ones with the true part number for the 2018 STI. And then the other brands don't have them. Cool information or no? Crush washer on. Take, you, could, you could do that leave that there. Come over here. So copper washer, you put it through the line, make sure the washer's there, and you put another copper washer so that it seals good on both ends because it's a banjo bolt. And then you bring it in and you put it in this way first and put it into the caliper first. Good no torque spec? Crash, Chris. Hmm? How do they not provide a torque spec? Like, what's the other brand? Stop tech. Stop tech. Yeah, at least they provide a torque. Now I gotta remember, it was 12 foot pounds, but I would like to confirm that it was 12 foot pounds. They gave me what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Line number one is in. That one's gonna be in my head all week. Oh, what are we doing? Uh, we're removing the stock wall pan to go killer beat. And now we're just taking off the last final bolts to finally remove the pan. Bolts still on there. Oh! Yeah. Why don't you say so? I said the bolts don't Nobody understands your English? Well, you should. That was like dropping a poop in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Just real quick, bro. I took off the oil bro, pan. What iOS are you on? <laughs> to go put on that oil pan. <laughs> Simple yeah. stuff, yeah? Yeah. Right now, I'm gonna just clean up the... Uh... Actually, I'm gonna hit it with the blade first. Wait, was that Jim? The blade. We get a blade to get all the... The, the main surface clean, the big chunks out of it. Uh, the Killer Bee oil bath one pickup. 
just a little tedious to try to line everything up. Uh, can you tell us what it does, the baffle and pickup? Um, so what the baffle does is when you're cornering and, well, yeah, when you're cornering and you're taking hard turns, um, the oil sloshes up and could potentially starve the oil pickup. And then starving your pickup starves your motor, and when you starve your motor, leads to rot knock. So this is gonna help out a lot with the track days, huh? Yeah, and then you also did the bigger oil pan, so you'll have more oil to play with. <laughs> oh, so you got the bigger pan, so now you have you add more oil to the mix, so now you you fit kind of fix one of Subaru, the STI's main problems is oil consumption, so you add more oil to fight that issue a little bit. Yeah, there's the, the pickup. I just gotta torque everything down. Finger pain. I'm putting RTV right now on the oil pan to seal it up to the block. did a lot of things to this car. Are we talking just pan or in just Just for the pan itself right now. Like three hours. Three hours for pan. And this thing's gotta sit overnight, right? And it has to sit overnight to dry all the RTV. So, yes. Yeah, kid. I know you remember that, so we're staying on this Damn. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Bro, I can't even bite. That's a body kit. So you're saying it's full? Yeah. Go up a little bit. Yeah, it keeps like the... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the funny thing is, those walls have metal, not wood. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, bro. So we just got done with the four cylinder cooling mod, oil pan, and uh, brake lines. And we're just finishing up with the oil change and the coolant flush. And you should be ready for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs>